For 2019, my overarching goal is simply to be intentional. To do and become on purpose. There is something to be said about building habits around this mindfulness. You quickly realize all the ways in which you can fill your life with little luxuries. My morning routine, for example. From start to finish, the process is about self-care in preparation for all the curveballs life is bound to throw. I begin my day by engaging my senses, letting the lights in, push back the curtains, open the doors, and allow the tropical air in. Listen to the waves break against the shore. Take a moment to be aware of my surroundings and of course, be grateful for it all. Next, I head to the kitchen. In recent years, a full breakfast has, admittedly, become optional. But some things remain essential. Like tea. Let me know in the comments if you're a tea or a coffee person. Coffee leaves me a little jittery. It's no good for my anxiety. Tea, on the other hand, is less jarring. It's a more forgiving wake-up call. It also allows for another gentle morning moment where I can indulge. Rest in this warm silence and again be very aware of and in touch with my beautiful surroundings. There is the misconception that every day in the Caribbean is like a vacation. But for most of us, if we don't slow down, take our time, we miss these views that others work all year to see. Off to get ready, we're picking up the pace now and heading to the shower. Showers are seldom seen as a lavish experience, but few of us have the luxury of taking a bubble bath before the day starts. Adding something simple like a body scrub with rosebuds and essential oils, however, can give your quick morning shower a touch of opulence. It gets your blood flowing, reveals glowing skin, and most importantly, wakes you the hell up. I rarely have time for a full face of makeup. This is where lash extensions come in handy. They make you look put together with little effort, kind of like red lipstick. And then, to lock in the moisture from my shower before it's gone, I'll grab my favorite body butter. Getting dressed, I keep it simple and typically stick to a neutral palette. Blacks, whites, grays, but all high quality pieces. It takes the brain work out of dressing. More often than not, if a statement is to be made, I'll do it with accessories. While 2018 was tough, we can rest assured that 2019 has an air of hopefulness and remain positive that the best is yet to come. Before popping out the door, I'll grab my essentials, keys, sunglasses, Moisture balm to combat dryness. And that's it. I'm ready for the day.